No? Was that not gone live yet? No, it's showing. It says up. it's going. It says going. There we go. All right. Now we should be seen by everybody. There we go. As it's going, it says go. There we go. Now yep. We got feedback. We know we're live when we get feedback. That'd be me. I just muted. Sorry. My bad. It's standard. Hi. What the hell is it with you? What? Me? Or the dog? No, oh, you're fine. Dog. Milo's sitting off to the side. I don't like this gentle white. No, what if I want to be? Hi, buddy. Man, he was uh, he was well loved, wasn't he, when we were down in Tucson? He he definitely uh, got his fill of, of attention. He was well loved, that dog. Well, hello, Evan. You're looking all um, uh, you. robed, and um, I, I'm trying to figure out. It's a very uh, a very Greek style robe thing you got going on there. You got the you you got the the Jesus thing going on by the looks of it with like the robe and stuff. All I'm waiting for is the big like papal hat to go on and you start swinging smoke and shit around. No, no, no. Uh, Chris, you, you totally got that wrong, brother. Well, no, I've mixed up a couple of religions. Am, it's good. You got a couple going. You got Catholicism and it's all the same damn thing at the end of the day. Let's be honest. I don't know why you got to bring religion. I'm a kingpin now. I made. Connection Are you a oh, you yes, yes. It's getting, you got it wrong. It's his cartel outfit, not his not his church outfit. <laughs> it yeah. looks at least from the Maybe. piece I'm seeing here, it's looking very um very uh regally religious. He needs the rhinestone boots with the really long tip religious. that curls around. Oh, we can find those. We right. could find those. I don't think boot barn will have them, but we could find those. I think you gotta make them. All right. Well. To get you to get you off this track because you're completely 100 percent wrong. I'm gonna take the shirt off. Oh, uh oh, whoa, uh, NC seventeen. Woo! Totally. Now, now, do I still look all papal to you? Yep, you do. You're in good shape. Ain't no get, naked. Ain't no get naked. No, no, no. I haven't got. I haven't got naked yet. Please stand by. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Where's the blurry effect? <laughs> no, I'm liking no, it. Yeah. You look happy and relaxed. Holy, you actually look really, really. You, yeah, you look like you're at home. Let's put it that way. Thanks, man. I am, I, and I appreciate that. It, uh, yeah, it's life is better here. I can think. It's like the only place in the world where I can think. I can't think at home anywhere because there's always like stuff going on, you know, all during the day. You got calls and emails and dogs and it's just crazy shit, you know. And then you go into the office and, you know, the minute you walk into the office, everybody wants to talk to you. And so you don't get any peace there. And then you get here and it's like, oh, uh, I can think. Yeah. Shit makes sense. I can. I, I, I was telling Ryan, you know, I put. I put all my shit into six buckets. Like for the first time in my life, I, I'm like organized. I'm like, oh, okay, I know what I'm working on now. It's oh wow, yeah, it's, it's this is home, man. Nice. That's I'm glad. I'm actually really. I, I mean, I remember. Good grief. I mean, you've been talking about this for a while, and then doing it, and now to actually see some of those net effects, it's it's really really good to see. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah thank long you. may it continue. Let's put it that way. Well, and I had the, uh, so this trip, I took the FR Secure Executive Leadership Team down here with me. Yeah, and, uh, you. yeah. How'd yeah, it go? They, dude, I pinch myself every day. I don't know how, I don't know how you end up with such great people. I mean, honestly, I know people say that, but, you know, it, it's great to be in a position where, you know, that company doesn't need me anymore. And, uh, you know, that's what good leaders do, right? You want to build a company or build something where, you know, you, you're building your replacement and these guys did it and they're kicking ass. I, you know, they ask for wisdom once in a while on this or that, but overall they're absolutely incredible. And I got to, I got to know them on a personal level down here, which just made it all that much better. I actually, 
spent the entire first day down here with our CFO. Mm. And like, I don't, I'm not a money guy, but we bonded. So yeah, this is the best, one of the best trips ever down here. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Yeah. There's, and there's so bought into the mission too. I mean, that's, that's the point, right? You want the mission to live on after, you know, I don't. And the yeah. way I drive these roads down here, they have, uh, <laughs> it's fun as hell. It's like rally sport, you know? So I'm, I'm kicking ass down these roads and I'm coming in sideways and yeah. So I may not live too long down here. So that's good to know that they'll be able to take this on after I'm gone. God is your guardrail. So far so good. Yeah. I mean, I only got one kidney left, hit a couple deer, you know, some other shit. I shouldn't be here, but I'm happy that I am. Live life. Simple as that. Exactly, brother. And how you been? So you're busy as hell right now. What's going on with you? Yeah, I just a couple of reports piling up. I need to get done. Um, we're down two folks at the moment because of uh, they got nailed pretty heavily with COVID. One of them went down hard, which has gotten me all worried and concerned, but they're coming out the other side of it. The other one's not doing too good. We've got a couple of other folks who are, you know, challenged. So it's um, a little rough. There's a lot falling on my shoulders. And, um, you know, it's uh, same old stuff, unfortunately. You know, I'm, I'm not at that place where I can kind of take my eye off of the finances, which sucks to some degree. So really having to keep close eye on that stuff. Um, but uh, it's good. It was actually really good. And it was actually a lot of fun to go down and head down to Tucson. Uh, Tucson? Yeah, Tuscan. Tucson. It was Tuxon. good to go head down to Tucson. Yeah, Tucson. <laughs> there we go. It was a gorgeous drive. Well, I say gorgeous drive. I mean, I did half it in the dark and half in the day. But I came back and I didn't realize there was actually a place called Hatch. So on the way back, I came back through Hatch at a time that was still open. I made it there just enough time and uh, picked up a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of chilies, all sorts of fun stuff from Hatch. So I've been, I've been getting it bagged up and getting it out to people. And yeah, it's been fun. That's cool, man. That's cool. Well, it's, I think it's our collective goal. You know, I know both Ryan and I obviously, and many others love you, man. And we want to do whatever we can to help you get over we'll the summer. So yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. Um, we got the new Dave, the new version of Dave is out. It was meant to be installed yesterday, but the client, nice. uh, the client's uh, household said that could they hold off for a couple of days? They were too busy. I'm like, yeah, no problem. So the nice thing about it is we now have it out in the field and running, which is kind of cool. It makes me a lot happier. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That'll, once we get it out into the places where we're having to do more manual reports, it's going to make life a lot simpler and a lot easier, which is, you know, it's obviously the goal. And then see if we can start getting some decent recurring revenue moving through that, which would be nice. Let me know when you're ready to hit the gas pedal. <sighs> not too far off. We're getting there, but not too far off. It's cool. Yeah. And on the security studio side, you know, Ryan, you saw the financials from October. I did. I did. Uh, you know, right. we're, we're trending in the right direction. Well, and, and what people, you know, that's one of the reasons we do percent growth is it puts shit in perspective, right? So if you look at numbers, you know, there's never enough zeros, right? You're never going to have enough zeros, but so far this year, it's over 53% growth, you know, and, and monthly recurring revenue. So and that's, that's and that's with a little bit of churn so yes. right that's not so. bad no i feel i feel good about it i and and i'm i am so excited coming back from tuck sun right tuck sun. Uh, have a call have a call tomorrow to talk about uh a student uh, a young young high schooler who the tech director of their high school in your neck of the woods, Chris, reached out to the other Chris, and I'm going to jump on the phone, what we came up with, and I'm calling it, well, yeah, I think I'm safe to say it out in public. It doesn't matter. If you want to steal it and do a better job, great, but send me a copy, okay? Uh, we are going to develop the protocol for handling students oh, of that nature. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, like the, young rug rat, with, like the young rug rat that we dealt with. You when got we were it. Yep. So we're going to come up with the, with the uh, redirection protocol. So when a student is identified as having a skill set or demonstrating a skill set, 
that the district has a playbook for how to appropriately redirect that energy and that effort to something positive and contributing instead of curiosity run amok. Evan left alone at a Starbucks. Yeah. Right? We don't, we don't need that. So uh, that's something we're going to be tapping into once we get first draft. I'm going to float it past you guys for your input as well. But yeah. that's kind of the idea because the, no one has the playbook. And so I told Chris, I said, well, let's, let's work together to figure it out, right? Let's help this student, this, this individual. But as part of that, let's think about the broader, what happens for the next one. Well, that's, I mean, the, the whole idea of like getting uh, Litlin on the, uh, the, the channel in uh, LinkedIn is we can almost run some thoughts and ideas and stuff. I mean, there's so many good resources out there. That's why I chucked a couple up that I put up the other night um, and then asked about the compute. It's like, okay, what do you have in so far as computing power to do stuff with? Because I'm like, worst case scenario, I'm pretty sure we can rustle up some fun things to send you that are yours that can play in that safe space. I got laptops collecting dust, right? right? They're, they're not this year's version, but yeah. they are very viable as a, as a actual real world representation of the gear you're going to find out there anyways. Right. Right. Was yeah. this thing out of date for the last like eight years? Yeah. Oh, that that's, that's real world. Yeah. No shit. Exactly. Oh, speaking of that, who was I talking to? Oh, my, um, at the LinkedIn poll post I put out the other day, I sent both of you the the uh, YouTube thing about bit flipping and I would totally forgotten about it. It was one of those things I hadn't even thought about in years. And then it came up in context uh, somewhere and we got talking about it. And then we started looking at the context of it and everything else. I'm like, holy shit. Um, because every time I've gone off and gone after stuff at NASA, I've always made the joke about, you know, I'm literally going off the P power PCs because that's all most of the stuff up there is. It's an old, you know, 20 year old power PC. And you start looking at why and how much radiation shielding that those things need and how much bit flip awareness they need. And you're like, yeah, that's probably why they've not advanced the tech. Look at this gentleman. Oh, I might have to. So I've been thinking for some time now. What I, I, tell, you wanna... about, what I tell you about thinking, Ryan? Uh, I don't... Oh, look, at, look, at this, look at this pretty thing, huh? Gateway. Don't do it. Don't, if you're going to do that, go get a Mac. Go get one of the Apple Macs, the, the all-in-one Macs. They at least look pretty. They do, but they're they're not going to radiate me like a microwave, like this thing will. Like, oh, I, I no, know that thing, that thing, yeah, that'll, this, right? that'll like cook you. Cool. Yeah, that'll definitely cook you. Um, Is that so $250 they want for that bloody yes, thing? Yes, it makes you It makes you regret every time you threw something out, because I'm telling you, I go and I'm like, son of a bitch, I could get, you know. 250 it works. It works. It's probably more than it was. Well, no, those buggers were expensive when they were new. I remember. Oh, back in the day, I had a buddy of mine had a 26-inch gateway oh. CRT. Shit. And yeah. that was like, oh, yeah. like, you know, I mean, that was as good as it got, right? We took, the, we so, took all those out of the field and shot them. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Apparently you shouldn't have That's been like 250 bucks a piece now. Damn it. Jeez. I suck at this game. The, um, oh, it's like these things when these screens came out. I mean, I remember when these first started coming out and now, you know, I'm sitting here with a, this thing's what a 49 inch widescreen. This one is that I use as like my main monitor. I, uh, my, one of my HDMI adapters that I use yeah. for my insane four monitor setup. Two of the ports gave up the ghost. Oh no. And I'm waiting on the other two. So I went and bought a two porter and then a dock station with two. And I'm just waiting. I won't put the dock station into rotation until the other gear dies to limit the, the hours of use. Yeah. My wife's going to come out here pretty soon and wonder why I got my shirt off. You can blame me. I mean, you know. I love you, Jesus. Hey, Tell her you started an old <laughs> No, to nobody uses it. I mean, it's that general philosophy, but it, you looked more like Cardinal 
like Popes Cardinal. Like you just need to be sitting there swinging around the smoke at high speed. And now well, I thought his you. shirt was stylish. I know Mr. Pajama Pants ain't giving out fashion advice. I'm just saying, like, if we're going to do fashion. Not just like, that, but, but they're cheesehead pajama pants. Uh, they well, are cheap I'm not going to fault. I, I don't fault people for their sports ball addiction. But yeah. look at this. <laughs> you know what that is? I like I, you, that. You. That's the Jerusalem cross. Yeah, sorry. Represents the wounds of Jesus. Hence, hence, you're you got all you need now is the little swingy smoky thing, and you're in good shape. Nope, I don't do that. Come on, it's good. No, nope, it's actually a good nope. weapon. It's a good no weapon. Pop, no circumstance. <laughs> it's a good no, weapon. Dude. Think about it. It's like nunchucks, but I understand that you that, that a smoking mace makes for a good weapon, right? It's a mace. Yeah, it that's what it is. Have yeah. coals in it. Yeah. It's a smoking hot mace with charcoal in it. I mean, why, why wouldn't... I mean, it's weaponized. I mean, let's face it. All they've done is made it more civilized. Vicky, behave yourself. This is the shit show. I don't know what you were trying to bring to the party. <laughs> Bless. Oh, it is I as well, it, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, my gosh. So, Evan, do you, do you want yeah. to take us into... Uh, into tonight's episode why are we here what have we oh, to discuss yeah so <laughs> yeah it was on my heart my uh, jesus filled heart with the swinging thing <laughs> <laughs> no i uh, there's a couple ways you can take that there is yeah the um no the, so the, the 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 title of the show is the show must go on and you know it, it it's kind of a a fork from, you know, the talk I gave with you guys out in, uh, I don't know, Wisconsin, maybe. Wisconsin? Where the hell we were. There was some place that also had shitty internet. Everywhere I go, there's fucking shitty internet. So, yeah, don't go where I go. If you want good internet, don't come where Evan goes. Well, I was going to say, is it the internet or is it you? It's me. It's you. So, hey, you're radiating. Here's the thing. Internet. Here's, here's the thing. Uh, Starlink, it starts, Starlink starts going for sale in Mexico in 2022. So I already signed up and paid my deposit. Nice. nice. Congratulations. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. And there's rumor that they're going to run uh, fiber up into my neighborhood over there. So I'm not staying. This isn't my house. This is We stayed like three days in Miss Malay at my house, and then we came here for the last three days. Um but, you know, there's rumor that there's going to be fiber there. And so I was like, well, why don't you just wait for the fiber? I'm like, because I want fucking redundancy. I mean, seriously, I'm tired of not having internet, man. I want like every internet in the world, like in my house now. Because it's Well, can we put a tower on top? <sighs> put a dish house. and microwave it. Yeah, because if we can put a tower on top of your house, we can, we can microwave, we can oh, satellite. But microwave, but microwave to where? To the um, giant broadcast tower, like within line of sight of your house. But it's not lined up, man. It. It's pointing way the fuck over there. You can. We just get a high power microwave. We can make it work. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get like a a tower, and then like, you know, another tower over that way to get it. Well, you've got the towers across the way. So if you're standing at the pool, if the ocean's to your right and the jungle and other mountain is straight in front of you. There's major telco towers right there. We could totally beam into. I could move the mountain too. I mean, we could just go down there with a couple of hundred of fur of and roll flex and just and just cable them in and be done with it. I'm pretty sure we could get that done in a weekend with a bottle of whiskey or mezcal. Well, if we're gonna do that, we got to put a zip line between the two then, because it's at the right elevation. So we'll just we'll just install the zip line, go off the third floor, clip in. Yeah. Hell. Yes. Because the um uh, uh uh what's the gas station again? Uh the Tex Mex? No, the uh um OXO. OXO. So the OXO is right across the way. And a matter of fact, I thought about this when I was sitting there one day. I looked and I was like, you know, if you put a zip line between that tower and this house, oh that would you get be to awesome. the OXO in like a minute and a half. Just do you first time I saw the place, I thought about that. I thought about making a zip line down to the beach. And a zip line over to the Oxo, yeah. So you I can gotta do get it. my cigarettes you... over there and, and go, you know, swimming over there. Well, oh, you've got to do it. And if we do it right on a pulley system, 
you can do it as a zip line down, toe line back. Well, you know me, man. I, I'm a, I'm a visionary. I got better for you. What's the, are they the D rockets? You know those, the little, yeah, the, yeah, the pair of those, just basically you build the zip line with a pair of capsules in it, stick a D rocket in there, rot and go. Yeah. I think they're the Ds. What are the big ones for the model rockets? I think they're Ds. Bigger Ds, okay. yeah, something like that. Here. What's worked over here at the FR Secure, folks, there's one of them coming out right now, and they're going to wonder why I have my fucking shirt off, too. Oh, there we go. Um, G class. G class. Are you going to bed? <gasps> Black powder. Buenas noches. Hello. Have a safe trip back tomorrow. So it's so awesome seeing you. All right. Uh, that was Renee. Renee is the chief operations officer at FR Secure and infinitely more professional than I am. I concur, doctor. I concur. And, and infinitely more skilled. Again, I don't know how the fuck I got here, but here I am. <laughs> but that, that's it, though, isn't it? Like if you don't, so to, to, to actually take us into tonight's show topic, if you, oh, yeah. That's if right. you haven't had that feeling, I mean, I, I, there are a hundred times a day I feel inferior to those around me. There are times, you know, it, it's a fleeting thought because I try not to dwell because I, I fight the imposter syndrome, but I know both of you guys have had that feeling. I know probably the majority of people listening have had that feeling. What am I doing in this room? How, how is this person, you know, considering me serious or, or investing in me or whatever those things are. And then, so you, you, we do all this and then we work really hard and then, and then we get really tired. You know, Evan said something to me yesterday that was a very honest comment. He said, Hey man, you look healthier. Cause he's not the guy, he's not the kind of guy to go, Hey, you look like shit. He'll wait till yeah, you look better. Ah, yeah. uh, I mean, I well, look no, like I shit. You, you didn't like say shit. it, so. No, I told you you look like shit last week. I was like, you gotta did get you? some rest, man. Yeah. Oh, get some rest. That's yeah. Okay, all right. That that you did say. You did. Yeah, I don't remember you telling me I look like shit, but I definitely remember you encouraging me to get rest. Um, you were run down. But you were way run down. But and and that happens, right? That happens because we care. I've never met a burned out person who doesn't give a fuck. But I have met lots of people who give a fuck who are burned up and burned out. Right. Yeah. And that's the topic for the show, man. It's, you know, the show must go on is no matter what you do, the show goes on. Right. And the show is, I mean, I guess it depends on your perspective, but we're all on the show. You signed up for the show. You didn't realize you signed up for the show, or maybe you did realize you signed up for the show, but you're still on the fucking show. That's the point. And the show goes on with or without you, regardless of whether you want to stop the show or, you know, whatever. And so, and everybody's got a role sort of in the show, right? Uh, you know, there are stars in our show, but they're only stars in the show and it's all for show right outside of our show. They're not much of stars, you know, I mean, they're just, you know, they're usually not taken all that important. I mean, if I ask anybody, you know, walking down the street, you know, Hey, Kevin Mitnick, you ever heard of him? No, you know, I mean, whatever. Right. And he's like a, the biggest star, but, and talk about for show. Right. Right. Hello. Uh, so, you know, sometimes it gets frustrating too when the show, I mean, you can't, you can't, you can quit the show, but the show goes on, you know, and the show goes on without you. And, but you're still kind of in the show. I mean, you can't get away from the show, you know? And, you know, I, and so I was thinking like, we all get burned out. They're all day. We all have days, man. We all, I mean, honestly, be honest, unless you're like just so malleable where you just kind of go with the flow, no matter where the flow is going. I mean, if you, if you're in this industry and you want to make a difference, you get your ass kicked and you get your ass kicked on a regular basis. And there are days I don't want to play in the show. I don't want to go out there again and perform. I just want to fucking sit. I don't, or I want to sleep. I don't want to get up. You know, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck's the use? And we've had that same discussion here, you know, what are we doing? And then there are days when, you know, the show is good. I, I feel like performing. I feel like getting out there and, you know, busting some ass. And I think, you know, just being honest with each other, being honest with ourselves, it's okay to have shitty days and it's okay to feel like you're going to fucking burn out. 
you know, put, put pride on the table. Pride is such a fucking piece of shit. Put pride on the table, reach out to somebody who cares. There are people like us, you know, I mean, you guys mean, you know, mean the world to me. There are days when, you know, I'm tired as fuck. And, you know, I think of some of the conversations we've had and like, I'm not giving up on my brothers, you know, I'm not, I'll keep fighting. Um, so that's kind of what, what this, this show is about is, you know, encouragement, um, the days when you just fucking are getting your asses kicked. We all go through that, you know, and we're still here. I've been in this industry. You guys have all, you guys were all long timers, man. I've been in this industry for 30 years. I could not have gotten through at all without support. Hey girl, what's okay, up? Okay, so this is- put a the, shirt on? Wait, I got a this shirt This is on. Uh, the Disney princess and the dragon. And at some point there's a tweet coming out and I'm gonna let it be later from now so people don't don't connect too many dots. But I have I had a vision and I decided that I have a Disney princess and a dragon who are unbelievably amazing and kind to me and, and did something meaningful for me that really truly touched me. Like seriously, like I'm showering that. love through the, the camera right now. And I'm talking to you, Mo, talking to you. I love I'm you. Honey badger. Amazing. I'm honey badger to his freaking care bear. He's all care bear and cuddly. I, I am. I'm a I'm cuddly guy, but seriously, what? like, so forever, it's my Disney princess and my dragon. And for the record, I am wearing pant clothes on the lower half of my body right now. I don't know if I really want to be a Disney princess, although I could be, what's her name? What's the sort of thing we lost? Is she considered a princess or not? Yes, is she like in that Disney princess? Dick, sorry, so, but she is technically part of the Disney princess. All right. You can be Cruella. <laughs> Me? No, Chris. Oh, hell yeah. No, Evan, Evan, you're, you're Thor. <laughs> yes. I get to be Cruella. Although I, I like dogs. I'm not in Do anything back to dogs? Have you seen them all? So, no, so Mo, not. you'll appreciate this. So Evan, also beautiful human, sent me a, sent me a gift. And he addressed it to Bestie McBesterton. <laughs> which then caused my post office to put question marks and extra notes and we're not sure who this resident is. We don't, we don't have this person on file. But seriously, like you guys are family to me. And, and that's like, it's really saying something. And I just want to take a second to appreciate you. You guys help me not hit burnout as often, right? It, it's, it's knowing that I've got you guys in my corner. You guys, you know, you're there, you're there and you're doing stuff and, and, and we can count on each other. And it's so important. And there's so many people that are listening right now that maybe don't have somebody in their corner. So reach out you know, find somebody in your corner. You guys keep me motivated to keep fighting this fight because Evan's, Evan's right. There's days that I'm, I'm, I'm beat. He's beat. You're beat. Right. But we keep going. And, and part of it is because, you know, Mo, right. We want to protect Mo. We want to protect Lydia. We want to protect Quentin. We want Marlis. Hi. That's awesome. Come back. Hi. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Lego set, didn't he? I so yeah i didn't mean to get all like super sappy yeah. but i love you guys and you're amazing and i just i appreciate you 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 make this thing easier to do and, and i bring that up because i want to say this the difference between being, being burned out and being renewed is one moment so i had that moment a few weeks ago right and i've had that moment a couple times but i had that moment at pima so when Chris picks me up from the airport, I'm sacked, man. American done ran me through the ringer, delay after delay after stuck on tarmac, taking off, stuck on tarmac. I mean, it's the flight from hell. The only thing that could have made it worse was if I had a mask jackass that then got us rerouted back so he could be taken off. What is that? This isn't Otis. Bigger? It's the little one. Oh, it's the doggy. Um, yeah. So Chris picks me up. I'm a hot sack of burnt up. And then we go do this Pima event. Talks like a shit. I was. I was. It was pretty it was wiped out. It, it wasn't was good. wiped out. Yeah. So then in the morning, we're going to get to do Pima. I think I've got, what, two and a half, three hours of sleep, something like that. Yeah. We but were we've got, I've got to be on point for these kids, man. I got to dig deep. I got to go in the reserves, right? Might take a year off the life, but I'm doing it. I'm digging in. I'm digging deep. And when they engaged, 
when the questions came, when we got off stage an hour after hour, high engagement, lots of questions, thoughtful questions. I left that reinvigorated. I was on some of the lowest sleep I've been on in a while. I was road weary, underfed, underwater, da, 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 da. I came home after another set of disasters and rebooking of flights and whatever, but I finally got home. I was like, hi, I was ramped up. I was ready to, to, to fight another six months. No problem, right? You guys give that to me when we do these Thursday night shows. I get that from doing things like, you know, Pima and helping. Uh, I get excited when I hear what you guys are doing. Like when you tell me Dave's been deployed, that, that I'm, I'm like, ooh, yeah. When, when Evan's over here, like, hey, Carolina Cyber Center, and I'm working with New Jersey, and I'm, I'm making these impacts and these differences, I'm like, oh, yeah. It, like, it helps, I don't know, it helps stave it off. But God's honest truth, if you if you love this stuff, if you're in it for the right reasons, it there's a cost. There's a cost to be made. Mm-hmm. Well, you remember yeah, the, re- you- the original reason why we started this, right? Yeah, it's just therapy. <laughs> yep. It's for us, man. It's the only place that I have in this industry where I can just say what I want to say. Otherwise, your CEO who has to play the game, you know, I had a, you know, I can't say fuck you, you know, in, in a meeting with a bunch of, you know, security people from a big company. I want to. I mean, you can't. It's just the meeting isn't going to go the way you want. <laughs> well, it's funny because now I've gotten a reputation, I think, because now I think the state CISOs are talking to each other. So, you know, that now they're all like, yeah, we really appreciate, you know, I, I'm getting that same thing that I already heard from Minnesota. We really appreciate your candor. We'd like you to come talk to our cyber task force. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want me there? Because you're going to tell us the truth. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth. Why the fuck are we here? Why are we not telling the truth? The show, right? The show. The show, if you play by the show, you're not supposed to tell the truth. You know, I mean, you're not supposed to play your role, man. Keep quiet. You'll make money. Cause too much of a ripple. You know, yeah, you might get torn down. You know, it, we're in a very privileged, you know, position. I think now, you know, uh, where I don't have to wear suits anymore. I don't have to. I can tell you the truth. You know, I, when I was starting out, if I were to start out in the show by telling the truth, fuck, you're gone. You won't make it. You know, it's funny you say, I mean, it's I've, funny I've you say that. that you don't have to wear suits. I'm excited because you of like my wearing. position, I get to wear suits. He's old. He gets old. Weird. That's the difference. I, I like to, hey guys, I can't, I got a bit of a, it's it's does, looking it abnormal. Abnormal. Like, I like to look nice. I can't help it's it. Abnormal. I need to get along. It doesn't make any fucking yeah. sense to me at all, dude. Okay. I crazy. enjoy a nice suit. I know. A little pinstripe action, a nice, nice tie. To your credit, you look good in a suit. You are a sharp-looking individual. In a suit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Actually, uh, so I learned was, a long. Huh? That was one of the things that you know I tried to do here with FR Secure. It was make John the face. So now John's the face. He's a good-looking man, and he mm-hmm. commands. He's you know big commands. You know he speaks like That's eloquently cool. with authority. Mm-hmm. When he walks in the room, he talks. People listen. They're like, "What? Okay." And he now it's you, that. right? You're He's, the face of, of Security yeah. Studio. I'm just the guy in the back room doing whatever the fuck I do, you know, trying to stay mm-hmm. alive. And yeah, you look good and, and you talk well. Good night, and you're, you're, you're the face, brother. So I appreciate Aww. that. I appreciate the opportunity to do it. I didn't ever, and you guys know this, I've said it to you, but maybe the listeners don't know. If I could be anonymous and still have the same impact, I would. No, I absolutely I'm trying, would. Yeah. That's what I, I'm trying to do. I know. And I'm yeah. happy to I'm happy to be that buffer, right? Like I've got a role we, to play. Yeah. We hear all the carry. time. We hear all the time, man. People using our quotes. Oh, you know, I, I see I, it. I send you guys screenshots. I'm like, look, look at, look at. I know where that came from. Cause that shit was right. not going around last year. Mm-hmm. But that but that's but that's the shit that I love. I I I, I watch talks. I, I talk, I see people who used my exact quote. And I'm like, fuck yeah. I don't want credit. I want to be the guy in the back. Take it, make it yours. You know, and, and uh, 
what was it this week? Oh, Matt. Uh, was it Matt? Yeah, it was Matt. Matt Goodacre. Marine. I love him. Fucking love That's Matt. good people. Yeah. He is. You see, he did he the, a- uh, the the uh, cardboard tie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he sent me a quote this week. On, you know, and he texted me a quote. And I was like, oh, that's a cool quote. Where did that come from? And he's like, your book's silly. And I'm like, huh. <laughs> My kid did that to me with a tattoo. Comes home. He's like, look it. I got this tattoo. It says, I can show you the path, but I can't walk it for you. And yes. I'm like, oh. I'm like, that's some wisdom shit. Who said that? And he's like, you did? And I'm like, oh, uh, I... It's like I gave a talk. I gave a talk the other day. Uh, the Roman ransomware one. One of the slides. Analog humans, digital world. It's a thing. Right, it's straight on there. Yeah. It's a thing. But and and hey, I'm I'm glad to to know that it is used. I'm glad you know. I'm still hung up on that idea. I can't let it go. I keep seeing it as the barrier over and over and over again. Oh, I think it's one hundred percent. It is. That's because it's valid. Yeah. Well, and, and, and so here's the thing too, right? And this is what makes us counterculture. If somebody else comes up with a quote and you use it, you get a cease and desist. When we mm-hmm. come up with a quote and somebody uses it, we encourage that, right? That's how you build community. You know, I'm tired as fuck of, you know, these people are off, you know, reinventing a wheel that's already been invented. You know, I, God, I don't want to call it names, but I will. But, um, you know, we've already got the solution. And you're off creating your own solution. Why? Because you want to have the name. Okay, create, fine. Make the name. Then share your shit with everybody else. Share your methodology with everybody else. So every other fucking state, we've got 49 states in this country, so they can follow along the same thing. Why won't you share that? This isn't about you. And that's, and that's part of the show, right? That's part of the game. You know, this fucking, like, fuck, it pisses me off, man. It, it, it also pisses me off when, you know, uh, uh, I was almost going to mention another name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout out. Please don't. Please don't. Just just please don't. Just sounds like. <laughs> the, uh, there's another organism that, you know, we helped do a really, really cool thing. And so now we're going to take that really, really cool thing. And we're going to make that thing available for everybody else. Right. This isn't a thing that you can patent. This isn't a thing that you can say is yours. This is a thing for the community. So I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to put it out there for everybody else to use. And then you get mad at me. Well, that's our thing. Tell me how it's your thing. Well, we make revenue off it. Okay. What percent of the, what percent of the market have you already penetrated? I mean, am I going to start stealing some of your market share? Well, I don't know. What do you mean? I'm like, tell me what percent of the market you own. Well, like 0.2%. Oh, so I'm going to steal your 0.2%. I mean, fucking put this in perspective. We have, a fucking million fucking people, millions of people out there that need to be helped. And you're, and I'm going to worry about you being concerned about your 0.2%. Well, I know no. all three of us do this. Anybody wants a slide deck? It's yours. Cheers. Here you Put go. your name on it. Yep. Uh, all day, every day. This is where our policy thing came in. So to date, I believe Please, somebody Google and correct me. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me somebody else is doing this. Security Studio is the only company on the planet that gives away high quality risk, uh, or I'm sorry, high quality IT security policy templates for free without registration. Yeah, no register warning. Somebody tell me that anybody out there is doing that because I want to make friends with them. Because if they're doing that, we should be friends. I got. I got one. Which guy? FR secure. FR secure. So, you know, we're friends. Culture, right? But it's 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 exactly that. I was actually talking to uh, Drew about that, about how I saw this kind of coming it, and I see it unfolding daily. The new way to do business is not marketing email. It's not, it's none of that. It's help. It's relationship. It's, it's, you're, you're not you're not gonna win with the old tactics. It just doesn't work. It I'm finally starting work. to hear from I'm starting I'm finally starting to hear from state CISOs that they don't want any more products. Nope. They want solutions. So yep. fuck you and your products. 
because and the solution honestly it's the same solution we've been preaching for 30 years the solution is the fundamentals right get back to the fundamentals simplify this shit yeah i mean it's not rocket science and it's the same, and it's nothing new right and it's not flashy or it's not sexy but that's the only but way security works man it's it's uh, it's, it's uh, most of it we've had the solution for 20 plus years Right. I mean, this is, again, this is, I think this is where maybe the frustration comes in is we've had the solution to getting most of our shit together, not all of it, but at least right. most of our shit together for 10, 20 years, at least. Yeah, right? I was talking to that. Yeah. Well, that's it, pharma, right? It's a pharmaceutical company out in San Diego today. Now, I, my last real job, I was the CISO for a pharma uh four billion dollar pharmaceutical i don't look the part but i looked different back then and had more respect and probably got more sex too but whatever that's a whole different story the uh <laughs> it's the truth man i mean come on, I'm 50 years old look at this who's gonna touch this thing i mean my wife you know yeah but you know we talked about that earlier today uh where was i going oh so we had a discussion about what should we do you know, from our security program. We need to mature our security program. And so the first thing is, well, you know, the name of the game in pharma, as it is in medical devices, is FDA validation, right? You have to play that game. Now, FDA is, whew, it's a pain in the ass because it, it's counter to security in so many different ways. Like I can't, sometimes I can't patch a system because it's an FDA validated system. I then have to revalidate, right? So I'm, I'm almost disincented to, to do that stuff. And so I was, cause they were, they were telling me, well, we don't have any products yet in the market. So we don't have FDA validation yet. And so I'm like, well, you got to keep this in mind in your vision on how you're going to build your security program. You got to be able to accommodate for that. It's coming. But then they were like, well, what should we do? You know, we want to do a framework assessment. I'm like, what the fuck's a framework assessment? And I said, you know, they said, I didn't say what the fuck, but I was like, well, tell me what you mean by a framework assessment. It seems pretty high tech to me. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Explain no, that. They, I didn't say that either. I was like, okay, yeah, framework <laughs> assessment. You know, what, which one are you thinking? And I think, well, you know, ISO, or should we, should we just go get our SOC 2? And I'm like, why? Why would right. you get a SOC 2? They're like, well, because, you know, that way, you know, people will think we've got, you know, a good security program. I go, well, thank you, God. You don't want to have a good security program? I mean, I don't understand what you, you know, but there was this huge disconnect between framework, what framework, framework, framework versus like what this really is, right? This was really risk, risk management. That's what security is. Like, oh, so explain to me risk management. So like the board game? No, I didn't say that either. But, you know, anyway, it, it's, it's just funny how we just continue to like cycle through the same I don't know how many times I've had that same conversation with the same people, it seems like, about a framework. We, we, we want to do high trust. Tell me how, the, you know, tell me how risk management is different than high trust. I'm like, well, high trust is a certification. It's not risk management. You know, risk is relative, right? I mean, it's always on a scale. I mean, it's just like, what the fuck? I can't believe I'm having the same conversation I've had a million times. But here we are. This is the show. This is the show. I mean, this is what we play. I, I just there, there's times I wish it was okay to literally record something like this, and when somebody says, "Well, you know, we want to do," just hold that click. Watch this for two minutes. I mean, there's literally. I, I think there's times where exactly your two point. This is so much of what we are saying arguably is not innovative. We're actually taking a step back and actually looking at history and going, hey, maybe we should actually learn from some of this shit. And That's in itself, it's probably innovative, but because we're not chasing the latest and greatest and we're not jumping on the bandwagon of whatever the hell flipping thing that somebody wants to try and pedal next, it, it feels like you are that you are that discord, you are that, you know, the, the voice of, of reason. And 
and everybody's like, wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. Oh, no, no, this is fucking, it, this is simple shit. And by the way, we almost need to record it and just keep it on a fucking playback loop. And I have these discussions with, with John who runs the FR secure and, and uh, we, we've had this discussion, you know, a couple of times, but you know, we had it again yesterday. I'm like, man, isn't it crazy that people pay us for this? And I was like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm just repeating the same thing I said 20 years ago. I'm not doing anything different. I mean, I am doing different. I'm still trying to solve the problem, right? So I'm still trying to figure out another angle. You know, why didn't that one work? You know, and with, for instance, you know, we had a great conversation this week. Uh, you know, they have a cybersecurity task force. That's awesome. That shows commitment. You know, uh, their governor, Governor, you know, he's involved. He actually organized this task force and, um, they're explaining to me what they're doing and they're like, so, you know, what do you think? And I'm like, well, you're doing the same thing that the other States tried to do and it didn't work. Um, I think you gotta, we, somehow we have to solve for what's in it for me. That's what people are thinking. The reason why they don't move, I think, I don't know. That's the next thing I'm trying. I've tried this. I've tried that. I've tried this. I've tried that. Maybe we didn't do a good job of explaining to people what's in it for you. You know, I would do something like if you're going to give me money, I'll do it. You know, not me, other people. I'm not money motivated. I don't, I, you know, I don't even, that's another fucking thing. But I think at the root of who we are as human beings, do we not ask what's in it for me before we act? I think honestly, we probably do to some degree. I think we do. I, I, and even if it's not a conscious, I still find myself going, and it isn't necessarily even what's in it for me. It, it is, there is a part of it going, what is this going to change? If I'm dedicating time and effort and resources to it, part of it is, you know, and I hate to say it for me at the money, part of it has, I have to look at it financially and go, is this a financial decision to some degree? But there's also a part of it that goes, is this going to move the needle? What is this right. going to do to help? A perfect example, I, you know, I'm getting, there's like three or four things in my inbox with giving talk at the moment. And a couple of them I'm going to charge for. You know, I did one two days ago, Palo Alto, the Roman ransomware one. That one I charged money for because one, it's Palo Alto. Secondly, it took time and I had to build a whole slide deck. But thirdly, I'm like, I, I, I won't see anything out of this. Palo Mill, other people will and everything else. But I, yeah, great. My name's out there again. It's already freaking out there for crying out loud. Others will benefit from it. Maybe they'll listen to it, but at the end of the day, it's Palo Alto, and they can they can probably afford to put down, you know, whatever it was, fifty. There's nothing wrong with charging. Yeah. Well, There's and it was, and I again, charge, got to, I food's got to be put on. on. Food's got to be put on the table. Now flip that around, and some of the other stuff I've got lined up. I mean, there's there's a couple of things I'm giving. Oh well, hell, I'm doing something with um, Shinola next week. Completely almost off topic, away from this. Not next week, but about two weeks time. And uh, Is it Shinola or Shinola. Chinola, the watch company, hanging out with us. Ah, yeah. yeah. And um, the bike and, parts. I think I thought you were talking about the bike parts company. No, the, that's Shimano. The, oh, Shimano. 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 Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, go sports. Yay. And they're and they're Japanese, man. I mean, come on, that's like way over there. That's not even so, close to here. There is absolutely nothing wrong with charging to give talks. Well, let, hey, let's bring this back real quick before you get to that. Back to the, the religion thing. It's not money that's evil. It's the love of money mm -hmm. that's evil. I, I, I make money and I love, I mean, I, I, I don't care about the money. I buy shit and do funny, stupid things with it. That's good. Not the stupid, funny things, but the money. But the, uh, it's the love of money. If I was in this business for the money, I'd be, I was going to use a name. I'd be... Right, we'd be dead. I, 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 yeah, yeah, it, and it's tough. And then, now, okay, let's balance that. Let's, okay, so flip it around again. There is an argument to say that you can go into it, make a ton, and then somehow or other give back. You know, for good or for bad, you look at the shenanigans from Bill Gates, 
but now you look at the foundation and what they're doing to give back. No, that fucker's got to no man. We got to talk I, about this on another show. Look at the foundation. He's okay. got a he's got an ulterior motive. So many fucking different places for this. The fund, that's that, an evil song. Not going to disagree. The foundation itself, though, does a lot of good. The the Bill and Melinda Foundation stuff. Yeah. They do do a lot of good. They do to, to give them some credit. They do do a lot of good. Okay, sure. Okay, and sure. I, and I can point okay. you to many a 50C, 503C, 3C, like whatever, okay. yeah. 501C3. 501C3. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. 501C3. So in business, it can be advantageous to lose money. Yes. There are plenty of times we're having a bucket that I can pour that money into that doesn't get taxed. Okay, fair. Yeah, and you even in, uh, even in our small company, man, you you heard what Kevin said. No, I did not. Thank you. Stop talking, Uncle Sam. You got your cut. Kevin North, my business partner. I, I was there. Yes, I understand. Don't but, worry. But, you won't say that next month. But the but the yeah, but the point. Oh, shit, there goes my race. But the point is, uh, we don't want to have a profit on paper. Right. We're incented to do that. That's good business, right? Because you are incented to do that. I think that that's a different talk for a different day about how that whole system is is broken and, and we could oh, be really yeah. fair and equitable totally. and yeah. boy gosh, we could still all be billionaires and have plenty of money to go around. But anyways, another thing for another day. The, and so I'll touch on the religion piece for a second. So you said love of money, right? Love of money is the root of the evil, not the money itself. I live under a philosophy. I am the son of the king, so I ought to look and behave like a prince. I'm looking like a king. I don't know about you. Right? But it's, it's, it's not. I can't. It's the greed. It's when, it's when I'm going to lie to get that dollar. It's when I'm going uh, to you know, uh, uh, overcommit and not deliver, knowing that's what I'm doing. Not being ambitious and being like, fuck yeah, we're going to do that. And then life doesn't work out. But when you, when you straight up lie, when you, I saw a meme on the internet. It was great. It was a Scooby-Doo meme and it was the guy with the hood. And then the second one was where the hood had been taken off and the guy was AI. And all it was, was an if then else structure, right? That's AI. Come on. It is. It is. If I loop enough times like, and branch and loop a little more and more, it looks like AI. It, 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 nested case statements, right? But um, I think the problem is, is, is there's so much money and it's, and I want to give a shout out to Chris. He's a good looking human being. I like Chris. I like Chris. Chris are we on about the Chris that's on here? The, yeah. the, well, that, uh, Chris. we'll give a shout out. Chris. Chris. You, Chris, you're a good looking human being. Oh God, no, I'm not. I'm as ugly as hell for crying out loud. I'm Chris, and hairy and scary. Chris, and I'm... This is, we're going to talk. Now we're going to talk about perspective. From Evan's perspective, you're a good-looking human being. Yeah, you're not trolly, dude. You're good. No, if you were trolly, no. I would tell you. Well, and you know, I mean, 2021. I mean, anything goes. I don't know. Hey, I'm good with that. I tried sending you a nice, kind of cute unicorn picture as a test picture, and it kind of went through and kind of didn't. <laughs> no, I sent you back the screenshot. It I, I know it totally sucked. I'm gonna bring it. I'm bringing up the unicorn picture. It's actually a really cool unicorn picture. I got it just fine. Chris, because I'm on the same ecosystem as you, the one that's secure and one that actually works, relatively easy to use. Correct. I know you did not just say secure. No, more secure than your bullshit. Okay, I will. I will accept that because that is a factual statement. No, yeah, it's you know. But I can. I can. There's no viruses. There's no viruses in Apple. I, don't I can. Oh, sure. There's not. I can <laughs> secure mine better. I have more I, options available to deploy my own certs. I bet you, I bet you so can't. This, was, this, was, uh, this is what I tried sending to the pair of you. Just so you can yeah, I saw this. This 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 was me this morning, actually. That, see, there we go. I'm liking this. Yeah, when I got up and I took a shower, I was like, what up? That's, that's, um, that's a thing, Chris. I, uh, believe me, I, oh, I am well aware of it. That's a thing. Yeah, you, no, but Chris, the picture, I think you posted a picture on uh, Twitter. 
uh, a selfie, or maybe it wasn't a selfie, but anyway, it was a good oh, looking the, picture. The high, somebody wanted a high rise pitch for me, and I could, I, I don't have a good, so oh, it's for a conference or something, and they wanted a good high rise picture. I mean, I'm like, one, I don't have one. Secondly, I've never like sat there and done a bloody studio thing. And I'm no, like, this but, is about the best I got. <laughs> no, and, but when I saw it this morning, or maybe it was yesterday morning, I can't remember the day's plan, I thought, man, good looking dude. Seriously, you are, brother. Mm, well, thank you. And I, I will. I will beg to do it. I, I, have, to, I have to concur on behalf of my female friends who have seen the show. So it's female, not for Molly. Quite dapper. God, dapper. Well, and he's so sophisticated with his tea and. That's why I said tick. dapper, right? Because dapper, dapper is. Civilized. Civilized. It's, a thing. it's, yeah, it's, it's. Civilized. I'm actually civilized. drinking. I'm actually drinking uh, cucumber water at the moment, so it's probably even more civilized than bloody tea for crying out loud. Weird. Richie would be proud. Richie, I know you're listening. Tell Chris yeah. you're proud of him for drinking the cucumber water. Cucumber water. So, so do they put cucumbers in water, or do they milk the cucumbers to create water? You squish it down like a lime, like you're making a margarita you like this, and right. and you can hear the cucumber scream if you listen closely enough. You can hear the cucumber scream. Oh, poor cucumbers. Exactly. I uh, I took the so where I live in in Miss Malloy or will live soon. Actually, might be sooner rather than later, but that's a whole other story too. Uh, there's a tequila distillery down there in our town. Ryan, you've been there. I have. It's very nice. I enjoyed it. So we did. Uh, I took the guys on the tour um, of of that. Uh, John had already been there too. But Oscar, Oscar leads our technical services team. Now he's been promoted to the executive leadership team. Congrats, Oscar. Congrats, we haven't officially man. made an announcement. We haven't officially well made an announcement, but Evan just did. Well <laughs> earned. Well earned. Yep. Uh, so we went down there and they tasted the tequila and they, and they showed them how you actually are supposed to drink tequila. Mm -hmm. But I've never done it that way. I, you know, when I was a drinker, Never, I just like, oh, Don Julio, hell yeah, let's do it. The, uh, it's a heritage thing. It's a, it's almost like a spiritual thing here in Mexico. Anyway, had different, you know, there's Blanco. What's the one in the middle? Reposado? Reposado. Blanco, Reposado, Reposado. Añejo. Añejo. Yeah. And then there's an extra Añejo. Yep. Right. And it's how long it sits in the barrel. What's that? <laughs> so fucking true. I, mean, I, don't, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. But anyway, uh, the extra in Yeho, uh, from what I hear, Chris, you have to have it. I'm gonna have to get you a bottle. I... It. Uh, have John, John bought a bottle. Have, have John get we'll, it, please. Thank you. Yeah, we'll put it. Well, I can put it on whatever budget I want, man. It ain't, it ain't, uh, about, it ain't about the budget. Oh, it's about, it's about handling it. No, I've got Marlis. So, yeah, it's okay. three things. You know the three things, man. It's I know. I'm on my I hand, just, I'm bored, and I'm alone. I, so I I'm watch fun, you for that. I watch yeah. Chris for going into his dark little cave hole. I keep an eye on you guys. I don't know, and it's appreciated. Uh, Very. I, I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna stop telling you shit. Don't do that. No, I'm just kidding. Then that no, because that'll Dude, I'll know no. you did that, and then and then that's just gonna. Then I'm gonna have to get creepy mode and start no, hanging. No, out no, 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 no. I want to. I want to continue to build my relationship with you, not not put things in the way of it. But anyway, this extra anejo, uh, hundred thirty dollars a bottle. Yeah. Not bad. Doesn't doesn't surprise me. I mean, there's uh, there's some stuff up here which is uh, family reserve extended year health, and the bottles are gorgeous. They're actually hand finished, and it's it's. Did you, did you know that you can't call tequila or tequila yeah. tequila? What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> tequila. You can't call tequila tequila unless the agave is grown in Jalisco. Mexico. Oh, I didn't realize it was that particular region. I knew there was some like variances you were and weren't allowed to do with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got to be in this state, uh, so, which is you know yeah. it's a pretty good sized state. 
Yeah. So, so you the get the best thing you should, in the world here. The other thing you should do as well, and we were actually talking about it um, with rum. Rum is another one of those. Uh, rum is another one of those amazing, uh, like regional liquors. What a better way of putting it. Yeah. Specifically, you get down into like the mid Caribbean region. And very much like mezcal, like the, the emphasis of tequila, mezcal, it's like village to village to village variances. And you might only get 10, 20 or 100 or a couple of hundred bottles out of each particular variance. But it's actually amazing because like you go to the, the way you live, they'll have a certain way that they do their mezcals. You go, you know, 20, 30 miles down the road and they'll do their mezcals very, very differently. They'll smoke it over maybe a different type of eat or a different type of vegetable, or they'll use animal, or something different where it just adds those variances. It's absolutely fascinating. It really is. is. And, and this, this particular dis- oh, What's Sorry, that? I didn't mean to step on you. No, man, I'm, I'm stepping on you all night tonight, so go ahead. I was just going to say, is it sad if I acknowledge I'm too old to try the worm? Oh, I wouldn't even bother. Oh, God. I do. No, no worm, don't even. No, it's, it's I've bullshit. never done it, and don't do it. Why bother? None, none of the good tequilas have a fucking worm in it. Exactly. You've seen the stash that I have next door. I, oh, I've had peyote. Trust me. I, I did that part. Been there, but done that. Any, does Check any of that have a stupid bloody worm in the bottom of it? No. No. I've, I've, back in the day, man, I was like Mr. Tequila, right? And I never ate the worm. Uh-huh. Like, why? I don't want the worm. I want the tequila. That's why I'm here. Well, it's supposed you to know. have that higher concentration of uh, mescaline, right? Just, just drink more tequila. I mean, if it's good tequila, you want to keep drinking. Or skip the tequila and go right for the flower. <laughs> no, I mean, truly, if it's good tequila, you want to keep drinking it. Yeah. Good tequila I mean, is good. I, problem I have with tequila, and I think it probably is similar to yours, tequila makes me frisky. I, I, like, like, I like to fight. I like to fight. Oh, fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I get uh, cheap tequila. Good tequila, not so much. I wasn't a a fighter with tequila. I was just a drunk on tequila. It was rum that made me a fighter. Was rum your your fight? Yeah. I can see that. The sugar. I don't know what it was, man. But every time, just about every time I drank rum, I was probably jail time. Schnapps is another one. I just gave a bottle of rum. Uh, Mark over the fence is just turned 70, and I just gave him 60 or 70, maybe 60. I might have got his age wrong, 60. He'll yell at me at some point. Uh, and I gave him a bottle of the limited four square rum. Got a gorgeous message from him earlier. <laughs> it was really, That's really awesome. nice. It was um, had to bust into the rum. Wow, uh, this is good enough to pour on your waffles. I'm like, good message, uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I haven't showed you guys around yet. You guys want to see see where I'm at? Yeah, I'll tell you totally. Is that the sea behind you, or is that is that coastal stuff behind you? Oh uh, yeah, that's the sea. Oh, see, that's the one thing I miss is I. As much as I love my mountains, I miss <sighs> I miss ocean. So there's Marlis. Marlis, I'm gonna show you. Put your clothes back on. Just kidding. She doesn't have her clothes on. <laughs> That'd be weird, right? So there's Marlis. Nice. Hello. 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 There's a poo. Oh, well, that's nice. I like the that, orange one. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah. Now the cord's getting in the way, so I'm going to bring you back over here. That's where Marlis and I are sleeping. Right there. That's our bedroom. Nice. You took the sex toys off the uh, bed? Okay, good. Just kidding. We don't have any sex toys. We don't do that shit. I ain't got time for that. Uh, that's the front door. Uh, that's uh, actually, is John still in there? Yeah. Look, John, he's on the phone. Look at him. He's waving at you. You see him in there? John! John! Wave! Ah! He's watching kids. Put your pants back on first. Uh, zip it up. Zip it up. Say hi, John. I'm showing you. That's John Harmon, my yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the president oh, of FR Speaker. Oh. Yeah. You're on camera. Sean Harmon, president of FR Speaker. 
president of FR Secure. Kai. Look at him, right? And every, everybody that's watching is going, the president of what? I, I will tell all of you this. What do you mean? We own, ex- at least, we own at least 0.01% of the market. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're, we're you know. We're this guy is a good leader. Uh, 100%. I say that 100. I know it. Yeah, no, that's John. And I'm seriously, th- one of the biggest blessings in my life, besides my wife and you, Ryan, and oh. I guess you, too, Chris. And that's the, and so John got the master suite. He's up there. Nice. Yeah, he's a boss man. El Jefe is what we call him down here. Just point her up the stairs. Right Not El Patron? El Jefe? El Jefe. No, he's, he's, yeah. he's had his share of Patron, I think. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope you're drinking better than flipping Patron down there, for goodness sakes. No, so, okay, so I was telling you the story about John. So we went to this uh, – this distillery in Miss Maloya. That's the town I live in or will live in. Um, fifth, is it fifth generation, John? Yep. Fifth generation distillery. So great, great, great grandfather. And they tell you the story of the great, great grandfather and how they started. And, oh my God, it's just amazing. So Tony's the guy. I make friends. I, I, I want to make as many friends as I can down here. Tony is the, I think the youngest. He's probably the son. Oh, here. Yeah, here's the bottle. John just brought it. Can you see it? Nice. I'm going to do a little bit of digging Everybody. later. Everybody go and buy this. Right? Is this the best tequila you've had? It's very, very good. Very, very good. And I've never had it, so like, take John's word for it. Extra. And, uh, yeah, so uh, he bought – how many bottles do you – we bought 10 bottles. 10 bottles. 10 bottles and uh, it's bringing some back for uh, some of the FR secure folks. Ryan might want dibs on one. Ooh, what I, do I get a support contract for it? You get a support contract for that, Ryan? You should. No, you that's got go to that's go through me now. You and I talked about no, that. I, I, no, no, no. I just call me next week. We'll get it finalized. Ryan, I can get, Ryan, I can get you a bottle. I can pull strings and shit. I know how this works. No, but no, I got Let this. me handle this. Let no, actually, handle I owe him a bottle. Is this the thing you and I but talked I about earlier this week? No, I owe him a bottle because I haven't gotten back to him on that support contract. So technically, I owe him a bottle. Right. John, stop giving up shit when he owes you shit. He owes you a bottle. Yep. We got to talk about how you negotiate, man. Uh, so speaking of rum, I think I'm going to go grab myself a quick something. So please, well, actually, keep talking. Is that a Wu-Tang hoodie? Is that what? Wu Tang? No, this is, is uh, this is um, uh, 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 I haven't heard of that one. You, is that five W's or seven? Oh my god, Wikipedia. It. It's, a, it's a wiki. It's a wiki sweatshirt. It's a wiki hoodie. Wikipedia. I could, I'm trying to think. My set, yeah, it probably says on the back. It's a Wikipedia one. Yeah, because oh, I, I support um, I support Wikipedia, so I give them monies on a regular basis. So every now and again, they send me things, which is very nice of them. Good for you, man. Thank you. Well, I figure we need to. So I well, do Wikipedia. Is, I mean, I, it's actually become a really good, reliable source in some I, things. It's kind of one of the last vestiges. Well, we used to get hit all the time. Like when people would cite their sources, Wikipedia would be like, okay, whatever, loser. And now it's like, well, okay, it's actually probably better than my source. So, well, it's, well, I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's always worthwhile yeah. hitting that and then hitting two or three others just to question them about, anyone anyway, like we all should do anyway. Yeah, well, well, when you yeah. change news stories on the fly. Did you say right. news or nude? nude? Both. Both. Yeah. I'm I can't mean, even trust that these days for crying out loud. That's dude, problem. I've, I've seen it too know, much the past few weeks. Y'all hear about the I drone? Sh- go, go get your stuff. I want to talk about the drone that attacked the power plant. I took my shirt off because uh, Chris told me I looked like a... Go a get pump. drinks. We're talking about the drone that attacked the power plant. I did tell you, like, well, I, I we, it was a bit of a difference. It's kind of a toss up between between like a couple of different religions. See, you're only missing your smoky thing. You need judged. your your smoky mace. I was being judged, man. I was hurt my feelings. 
<laughs> you know, I was complimenting you. You got the beard, you got the clothing. All you need now is the the twirly, the twirly smoky thing. No, that you're going the, the wrong direction with it. I swear, I swear to God, that wasn't the story I heard. It was <laughs> what I heard was you look like the Pope, and I don't like the Pope. And I was like, what? Okay, well, it I was like a mix you. of things. You, you had this confused, and so I ended up being naked, and <laughs> I don't know what happened. You look naked. She's buying this. Just shh. Got it. Well, he has no pants on now, too. Thank That's you. okay. I'm pretty sure I said get naked. That way, there's no way he's going to look like the. Well, it depends. I mean, the Pope at a younger age, maybe chasing around the papal places, but <laughs> on that note, I'm going to get. Would you go get a drink before you go somewhere we ain't trying to? Besides, uh, Evan, it's 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 not the the smoky thing. If you're going to go there, you got to get the uh, uh, flag room. I'm sorry. What are we talking about now? Extreme <laughs> religions. Oh, yeah, I don't play. I don't know. No, it's a relationship, not a religion. In case y'all didn't know. No, I don't. Feel free to yeah, reach I'd love to talk to you about it. I've gone to, uh, uh, yeah, Catholic churches, and I, I don't know what they're doing. It's like, kneel now. And I'm like, what? Kneel now? Okay. Uh, okay, stand up. Okay, stand up. And then the priest says something, and you're supposed to, like, repeat it back or something or something. So I got so confused, I left. I just, that's not, yeah, I don't. It is what it is. So, I respect um, everyone's everything. Y'all do what you do. I'll do me. Well, we'll all get along. Okay. We'll all Key, get along. Keyword. 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 100% respect. 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 You know what I mean? If people would just respect, oh my God, the world would be such a better place, man. People <laughs> that's because back in the day, People don't there believe the same things I believe. I respect them. People don't do the same things I do. I respect them. People don't walk the same walk I walk. I respect them, right? It's got to start with you. So don't expect the respect. And then, well, if you respect me, then I'll respect you. That's right. the way this fucking works. Well, but and, if, and if you want to know how this really works, buy yourself a Harley and head out to Sturgis. And you'll learn respect. We're from the old school. Okay. I was raised that you respect people first and foremost, because that's what you're supposed to do. Number two. Wait a was, second. I got to back up. I got to back up. I got to back, back up. up. Buy yourself a Kawasaki and go and uh, to Sturgis. Sturgis? And, then okay. learn respect. and you'll learn respect. Sorry. So two things, right? Respect because that's what you're supposed to do. But the second factor was you need to lead with respect because if you don't, there might come a day when somebody bigger and badder than you feels disrespected and they might decide to reach out and touch you to correct your approach. I firmly, One time I when we moved away from random stranger could punch you for being a jerk, we, we went crazy. We went crazy. The most embarrassing ass kicking I ever got uh, this was in like high school, right? And uh, I, I went to Minnetonka High School. If you, whatever, you probably don't even know what the hell that means. But Minnetonka High School, our sort of like the ones we looked down on was mound. Right? But we had common turf, and the common turf was Excelsior, Excelsior, Minnesota. <laughs> and so when we saw somebody with a mound letter jacket, you know, come driving through, it'd be like, what the fuck are you doing here, man? You know? Well, so. I was like with my friends and I'm like, I'm going to show how tough I am, how big and I'm a badass, right? So I, and this twerpy dude kept talking shit and I'm like, oh, this is going to be game on. I'm going to love this. I'm going to look like such a badass. And well, all right. So we tussled. He 100% kicked my ass. It was half my size. He happened to be the three-time state champion wrestler in his weight class wrap me up like a fucking pretzel. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, next time I fight, I better do some recon first. Cause I'm going to get, this is not working nice. Oh my God. So embarrassing. You know, it's more, uh, the rug rat's got herself a boyfriend and it's actually really nice to see. He's a good guy. Did a little bit of background as you do as a father and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, yours yeah. is a little bit more thorough than the rest of us. 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. He wrote a manual. I, I I got the manual. If you want me to send it to you, did you? I no. I have a son. I only have one dick to worry about. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Nobody. Thankfully nobody cares she, about that one. It's the it's the girl we got to protect. Thankfully, she's pretty well. She she thankfully she knows what the hell she's doing. We've we've had conversations, but nice kid, like nicest kid you you know, and actually like nice, civil, like, kind of in some ways nicer than my daughter from like manners and other things as well. Totally well, we cute. all need balance, Chris. We all need balance. <laughs> no shit, apparently. Find out. Come to find out. He's uh, uh, He hasn't done it in a little while, but studied martial arts for a number of years. Uh, second down black belt. Wow. So I'm like, Impressive. makes me happy. That way, I know he's got my daughter covered from that standpoint, which I'm like... Well, not only, but because he has, he's like 99% less likely to be a douche nozzle that puts his hands on ladies exactly well right and i mean because you don't get to, you don't get to be a second degree black belt without discipline correct and he gets to think and he gets it's and, and i'm like i'm sitting and there's like all these things and i'm like okay this is good but yeah to look at him i mean just nice normal standard kid but yeah totally cool that he's you know he's spent a lot so goes again to get to that level that takes time and dedication so mm-hmm. i'm like all right you got your shit together i like it i love it yeah, nice. You know kid. your daughter's in safe hands. Hmm. You know your daughter's in safe hands. That's yeah, important. Yeah, totally. Makes me happy, actually. Well, and you guys know the deal, right? I mean, I got tarps. I got you know bleach, shovel. Oh, I, Jesse. Just Dude, uh, the claw. Uh, Dude, all I need's a all I need's a pig farm. That's got it. you covered there too. Don't worry. Just oh, it is. Oh, I got pig farm. I got you. I got him. I got, I got him covered. Got him covered. I'm your wolf. Got him covered. And uh, I've never and, understood and, why people go through all that fucking work. It's like just dump them in the fucking pig farm. Yeah, straight the pig farm. Or cast iron. Cast iron bath is actually a pretty good one. Those plastic ones don't tend to stand up well enough, but good cast it iron. It still requires an investment. In it work. does. And that can be tracked back and all farm. those things. I know. Wait, did I just say that out loud? You gotta be careful buying stuff these days, gentlemen. Come on. Man. Oh, I know. I know people, yeah. I, even if you use cash, it's gonna be a pain that you go to. That cash transaction is tied to a date timestamp on a video somewhere. Yeah, I know. Just, uh, just dump them in the fucking pig farm. Stop making this so fucking you learn, complicated. You learn to speak crackhead. <laughs> pig farm. Got you covered. Pigs eat Again. everything. Okay, here's, here's, here's the problem. Including bones. Here's the problem with the pig farm surveillance i mean you talk about you talk about not just drones oh i ran, oh i found my first police oh, yeah. airplane i found my first police airplane i was driving uh driving i totally forgot to say about this i was driving to tulsa the other day and uh i it wasn't i thought it was a crop sprayer one for a while but it wasn't it was actually doing laps up and down the fucking highway it was awesome i um i might have confused it considerably when i turned on some of the electronics but it was fun to do Love so me. speaking of things, yeah, uh, what things? Roads and power stations. We had an interesting event. I'm trying to find the specific. Did I miss a fucking? Did I miss another fucking meeting? Yes. So, a drone attacked a power oh, yeah. plant or a power substation. Power substation. Yeah. So power the, grid, the yeah. drone was 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 attempting to crash into the substation. And they got it wrong, and it oh. crashed on top of the building. But 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 what? Well, what? Fucking DJI Maverick. I mean, for fuck's sake! If you're gonna crash something, go get something decent size. Go get one of these motherfucking taxi things. Hey, go get something that's at, or, or at least if you're gonna use the DJI drone, put a decent length of cord or cable on the motherfucking thing so that you actually do something other than just piss off and make us have to work more. We <sighs> call this poor planning. Poor no shit. Planning. Piss. Piss poor planning. Not even poor planning. Like, if you're going to do it, do it properly. If you're going to sabotage something, for fuck's sakes, do it properly. So, do we want Another. to discredit? Do we want to discredit that particular substation may have had particular appliance that caused particular drone to deviate course? Do we want to disregard that as, a, as an option? Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, there's I other. Disregard. Okay, well, let's throw that out. Then they, they were really driving shitty. Okay, just, so I'm, yes I'm and just, no. I'm just, there's actually, I'm we just were decisive. In... I'm not saying I'm right. I'm, I'm just we decisive. Actually... I'm not saying I'm right. I, I said no. 
we were in the state where there have been other, we were actually down in Arizona where there's a particular nuclear plant that a couple of years ago had some drone based visitors. Here's, here's what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling we're going to see is there's going to be a whole bunch of this type of things and they're going to come down heavy on anybody who's has a personal drone. If it's not an Amazon drone or a fucking pizza drone or a somebody else's drone, your ability to run your own drone is about to get really fucking restricted. What? Chris, Lord, I'm going to have to disagree. Freedom? That doesn't sound like America. Who would do Chris? that? Chris, I'm going to have to disagree. Okay. He just literally wants to just disagree. Oh, like, we... <laughs> nothing that comes after that. He's just planting a stake in the ground. No, I, I, don't, don't ask me to justify that. I'm just disagreeing, <laughs> whatever. I, I, so, I, I, it's a fucking DJ. I, I mean, the, for, the, for context, for people that don't know this. <laughs> I know it was a pretty shitty drum. It's but, what, about that big? Chris, about that big. Chris, on this point, on this point, I am going to agree. Okay, However, good. thank you. I appreciate that. That big, you know I mean? all that's needed, you and I both know if I throw that into the right piece of that substation, that I don't need anything bigger than that to make it go pop. I, I'm, I'm going to have to disagree. I'm going to actually disagree because of redundancy. I'm going to disagree because of redundancy. No, no, no. I didn't say cause outage. I said make that substation go pop. I'm, I'm sorry, you cannot use redundancy and electrical in the same fucking sentence, man. No shit, have you seen the U.S. power grid? Go to Texas, motherfucker. Let's talk about redundancy. Well, it, no, there's a difference Let's between talk about redundancy that Windows XP and availability. That I can't fucking patch because it's there's a take down difference the between day. redundancy have, and availability. I've got TeamViewer on it all. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll it's be redundant. Fine. It's we'll redundant because you got TeamViewer next to PC anywhere. Uh, no, it's, it's logging in. <laughs> With the password, oh. <laughs> password. <coughs> All right, so I'm help. I'm going to defend. God knows I'm gonna I'm gonna be the odd I'm gonna be the awkward son of a bitch. All right, I'm gonna defend the grid to some degree. There are levels of redundancy built into certain areas. I'm being very careful with my words. There are levels of yeah. redundancy. <laughs> so if you go crash your fucking DJI drone into, actually, here's what you want to do: screw crashing anything into it. Those you want to get the the little the little buggers with the mineral oil. Those are the fuckers you want to set on fire. That will cause some problems. Anything else in there? Trying to short circuits, trying to do everything else. There are controls in place to actually mitigate most of those circumstances. Just drive a truck through that fucking yeah, chain. No, 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 no. Do what they did in California. They shot one up. They still haven't caught the folks that did a couple oh, of years. Google it a they, couple they years ago. Do, they, they shot the that, fucking thing up. They were doing that in Minnesota. They were sniper rifling that fucker in Minnesota. I'm not going to tell you which substation, but. In Minnesota? On, Hang on. Am I getting my stories wrong? Because I thought it was in. No, I thought, no, no. This one was years ago. It never made the news. But I, they called me in to like investigate. And I'm like. You got somebody sitting on the hill shooting this shit, man. They did the, I think it was LA. They shot one up. Let me just see if I, uh... no, it can happen anywhere because there's no physical protection. Yeah. Well, I mean, no. that's, that's well, it. I mean, if you're I've fucking seen those substations. One. They have a fence. Oh, I, well, that's what I'm saying. Just drive, just drive your fucking 78 shitty pickup truck. You, just you don't even have to, no, right you, you don't even have to do that. Thing. Well, we can, well, kind of, because if I shoot something out, it's one piece of equipment that I'll have to replace. If I take a truck and just run that yes. fucker through the entire substation, the, it's going to take you weeks to get that fucker back up and running again. I got a better option for you or as good an option for you. This is so we, like you, I got dragged in behind the scenes for some of the California wildfires for a couple of years ago um, or over the last few years, last year, the year before, and a couple of years before that because of some work we'd done on attacking substations and rapid cycling and rapid work on them to get the mineral oil to flash. Yeah. We were able to do it in controlled environments. We did it out in somewhere west of here, uh, northwest actually of this neck of the woods. And we did it Over out there, there and demonstrated it. And we, they were talking about maybe the same concern out at the wildfires, whether somebody had gotten into the system and are basically at a network level, basically gotten into a point where it fly because you're right, they got a fence around them and they got gravel around them, but that's not always kept up. It's dry as tinder and shit down there. So all you gotta do is burn one or two of those 
And hey, presto, now you just set off another fire. Well, and your so gravel, I, I is, actually, your gravel is actually awesome. It's to my advantage because it gets my fucking truck airborne. Well, oh, yeah, I but like the problem that. is you, you leave a truck behind. The problem is you leave a truck behind and there's only one way of doing it. It ain't my truck. I paid cash for it. I don't give a fuck. I just want you to know I went to a website and my internet froze. Oh, well, I'm on that same one. The website that you sent me, the... the... Oh, no, I did a Google search and it broke my connection temporarily. Let me, I'm going to you... I also went up. to a website. That's it. There was one where they shot up a stuff. Uh, there we go. California substation. This, oh, 2014. Holy shit, we are going back. Yeah, 2014, uh, country's pad grid. So they have done a lot since then to do redundancy. Now, it doesn't mean there's availability. Back to the Texas comment. So redundancy is great, but you and I both know. Well, and what's the redundancy? So I reroute power. That's right. redundancy. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I put a greater there, there's no re There's no redundancy in the control systems. Which is the fucking problem, right? If I take out the control systems, then you may not be able to reroute power. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, no, no complaints, no, um, no disagreements on that. Because I've run into lots of times where it's like, fuck, we got to get rid of that XP system. Like, we can't. I'm like, well, God, yeah. you have to. And they're like, well, we can't. I'm like, why can't you? I mean, I actually know the answer because you're going to take out power to all of fucking Ramsey County, Minnesota. Not mentioning names, but Ramsey County, Minnesota. Fuck, all right. <laughs> Just saying, you might want to think about it. Dude, it's I bought going. myself I bought myself like three Menards had a sale on these Chinese gas generators. I don't know what the hell they are, but they were four cycle. They worked. And they were like I don't Ooh. know, 159 bucks. I bought like eight of them. I gave them to all my friends, and uh, yeah, I got one for sure. All right, I do stand corrected on this drone attack. Uh, I just I'm looking at the um, I'm looking at uh, one of the drone intelligence bulletin things. Um, it was, yes, it was actually it did have a thick copper wire attached via a nylon cord. Now, it's a DJI drone. Those things have got a max capacity of how much? Poof. Well, it depends on which one. Uh, Mavic or the, that Maverick 2. It's a Mavic 2. Did, did that wire bridge wire 1 to wire 2? Yeah, but again, I mean, that. you know as well as I do how thick that wire would have to be to cause the – I mean – Okay. If, so, negative 10 gauge, I got you. I can go buy it by the foot right now. I don't know if a Mavic can but fucking carry that. Heavy. Hang on a second. Heavy. That's that heavy. is heavy. It is very heavy. But if I mod said drone and I'm not worried about battery life and I launch my attack close to the location, I have all that I need to successfully complete said attack. Well, well Mavic 2 is not truly, I'm, 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 All right, it's a bigger one. The Mavic 2 is bigger. How big is this? How, um, how much can this thing wait? Capacity. It's really not that big, man. I mean, the Mavic 2 is. You don't need big. You need point A and point B to touch for a nanosecond. Yeah, but you need to so, but the, Okay, so. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but these are, in, but these are I'm wrong. That's all I'm looking for. Tell me I'm well, dead wrong and that you cannot cause havoc by connecting well, A to B for a nanosecond. Well, I'm guessing, to be honest, I'm guessing it was somebody who was intentionally trying to do something, but accidentally, like they didn't actually know what the fuck they were doing. They just happened to have it right and dropped it in the right place because those are, I mean, those are insulated what cables too, man. I mean, you, you have squirrels on that shit all the time, birds on that shit all the time. You can't just like, at, at the lines, yeah, but if you go down mm -hmm. where those... That's what I'm saying. You, you've got to hit it at right, exact right place well yeah, I, I find it convenient that shortly after raiding several chinese owned companies it's easier to shoot which it. we know about dozens of which we don't because florida sunshine law that we see this activity i'm not surprised by it i think it's going to increase i think there's going to be kinetic response for the shit that we're doing with hong kong and, and taiwan 
Mm, they our, be, but our, no, but okay, our government, so is, our gonna, government is like super competent. Don't worry about it. I don't disagree about that. But our little friends from across the ponds are going to use something more than a fucking Mavic 2, believe me, with a 500 gram power they think about. I would think that would be more in line with how the Russians like to play ball. I think it's just somebody fucking think about the Russians. I almost I would go with just somebody fucking around. You think you think it's just some dipshit? Yeah, I'm going with the dipshit. I honestly want to overthrow a capital. I'm going with dipshit on this one. I'm going oh, by the way, speaking of dipshits. Um, did you see the gathering a couple of days ago oh, when they were no, no, no. looking for um, Kennedy's resurrection to take over and be the running mate for Trump? You didn't see that? Oh, it was cool. There was a gathering. I want to say it was Texas. QAnon folks gathering a whole bunch of them. Apparently a lot of them gathered because they thought Kennedy, who died, whatever, it was a couple of years ago in the plane crash, was, was, he didn't actually die, but he's been behind the scenes managing everything. And he was going to come out like a couple of days ago as Trump's running mate. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't waste about... brain cycles on this, man. You, uh, oh, it's great. No, I want to waste brain cycles. No, I want to waste brain cycles on this shit because those are the kind of folks that are going to be driving a fucking Mavic okay. 2 into a power station thinking they can affect change. If I start seizing, if I start seizing, it's because I put brain cycles on this. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm finding the link. I'm finding the link. Hey. No. Don't find the link. No. Don't. No. Come on, let's go. No. no. Yeah. It already hurt. Didn't well, die. No. No. Kennedy didn't die. No. Apparently, he didn't die in the plane crash. He's good. He's coming, He's coming back. He's okay. So him, him, Elvis, Tupac, and Biggie, yeah, all making I'm, getting, on the same island. I'm getting some chest pains right now, guys. Don't worry about it. I'll be okay. All right, we'll go back to drones. No, I honestly, okay. Ryan, I yeah. this particular you, the three of us, could potter. And if we were going to go aerial assault, let, let's ignore let's the fact. See, that, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, full disclaimer. Whoever's listening, no, no. <laughs> this is theoretical. This is hypothetical. I am not involved. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. We're going to test it out later. We use drones for assessments. We drop drones onto roofs for assessments. The three of us know that it takes very little, very yes. little to cause big, 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 big problems. Yeah. Very little. Shockingly. Oh, little. But well, that's one of the things that scares me the most. Thank God criminals are stupid and I'm, lazy. I'm going with more. No, than they're not stupid. Directed. They're not stupid. I'm going with more than a DJI Mavic 2. Is it, is it, but they're lazy. They are lazy. Yeah, no, no totally. they're not lazy either. Don't think they don't have an inventory of these things and these assets. We're sort of in the like the digital. I say criminals now, not nation states. That's a different animal. Well, criminals don't give a shit about this. There's no money, right? right? So they're they're focused on what we need to start focusing on is when we finally get our hands around ransomware, which we will. Trust me. Yeah, bam, we bam, did bam, around all of it overnight. Nope. No, we did because we did the same thing around credit card data, right? We know what to do. It just, are we going to fucking do it? And that's part of the game, right? That's part of the show. That's part of the thing for behind today's, you know, topic. We know what we need to do, but we put on the show like we're doing it. You're not. It's fucking black and white. Are you doing it? Or are you not? Right. And so when you talk about, you know, credit card stuff, how long did we talk about like, oh, we should do chip and pin. We should do chip and pin. We oh, God. Pin. Europe had it for what, eight, 10 years before we even thought about adopting it? Right. And so that was the show, right? And the show is, as long as me being Visa, MasterCard, Discover, Diners Club, as long as I, as long as you as the consumer have enough trust in me that you'll continue to use my cards you'll continue to use my cards, right? So the system continues to work. Well, then Target, that was actually the breach that finally tipped the scale because not long after that came Home Depot, right? So we had- you know, And Jimmy John's and, 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 and thus began right. the daily title. So finally, finally we decided, all right, the show changes, right? We're going to do chip and pin, right? So, and then, and then what happened with the criminals they're always looking for the greatest return on their investment. The greatest return on their investment at that time was credit card data, right? We sort of made it not so much a return on investment anymore. You can still do it. That's not the point. The point is, is there a good return on my investment? So they moved then to ransomware. So then ransomware becomes their return on their investment. 
And until we start getting our shit around there and make their return less of a return. So what we need to do is kind of be forward looking. What comes after that? Let's say we finally get that shit figured out. What's next? Okay. There will be a next. So let's let's talk about ransomware 2.0, 3.0. Let's talk about destructive. Let's talk about, no, we don't want to go there. Okay. Oh, no, no. Uh, fuck you, you ransomware that. 2.0 and 3.0. You, you saw that slide I sent to you guys, and I talked about it on the rum and ransomware. I'm I done mean, going up. I'm done going off to companies. Fuck I you. I can all. cook you chips. I'm done going off I to can companies. Make the server you want... dead forever. Oh, no. Forever. forever. In, hang on. You and your you and your heart rate monitor and your insulin pump. I'm going to send you an email. Well, uh, yeah, it's Killware. It, we have wanna... a name for it. It's called Killware. Oh yeah. Uh, well, it's. I mean, that's it. We're I'm, I'm talking about the destructive shit where I. So mid pandemic recovery, supply chain, blah 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 blah. I can cook your server, cook it, fry it, smoke. Mm -hmm. it's got, a better one. got a better one for you. And I've actually, I'm looking at the link right here, man. I mean, I got a better one for you, and I think I figured it out. I've actually spent a couple of nights since we got back from Arizona not sleeping when I've been messing with stuff. Give it to but us. I, give yeah. It to don't harbor things. Gosh. All right. So no, we were yeah. a community, Chris. Jeez. No, no, I'm I'm giving it. I'm just not going to give the code away yet. Uh for all yeah. the reasons. Send, send it to me. Uh send it to me through Proton. I got the code. I just couldn't fucking read it. It was like spaghetti code. Look it upside down. It's better. Oh, 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 oh there you go. Okay, I got it. Yeah, no, you, you gotta hold up a quantum mirror. <laughs> oh fuck me. We're in a in a radiation proof, so we're not flipping bits anywhere. Okay, so we're not supposed to flip bits? Why didn't you, you guys can flip it bits? You're going to flip careful bits. So you got to be very careful which bits you flip. Otherwise, you end up with duct tape a pencil to the safety switch on my microwave running with the door open. We're good. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Um, All we, the switches. We, no. We cracked the... Uh, uh, it's only... Careful. On, <laughs> do no, don't be careful. It. Let, it, let it go, Chris. Be free. I'm waking up. No, I'm not letting this go free. Actually, we've done it on a couple of phones now. So we can now target the, um, the you know, the, oh, the brain's not I'm totally spaced on it. I'm not spaced on it. I am I. That too. But yes, uh, that's part of it. So the uh, proximity sensor to you being close to somebody getting infected. Oh, you mean that feature they turned on without my consent? That yeah, even yeah, though yeah. I haven't opted into the app, still is actively working in the background. Is is would that be what you're referring to? Yeah, that'd be hey, the will one. you move? Will you move my proximity just closer to you? No, no, this is a fun one. So now yeah, you got that. That was like a that was like a, a Valentine's. It was. It was so sweet. But I'm a care bear, so I love this shit. Speaking yeah. of which, I did reach out to oh, Chris. Chris, tell me more. A Sorry. Care bear. No, go. Tell me more about this thing. Uh, so it's basically uh, the the app itself. This is that government, to Ryan's point, this is that government app, the one that Apple and Android said that they would collaborate on, which is if you have been in close proximity or you're close to somebody that maybe has is, is recorded an infection, or if you've been to the same stadium or gone through the same airport or anything like that, it will alert you to your proximity to somebody that has COVID. This is and right. so we turned it on. We figured out how to. We've actually figured out the the algorithm and the way they actually send the packet signals, and we think so far we can replicate it. And we've replicated it on a couple of the phones here so far. And it's kind of fun to do. Well, it's shit. Yeah. Right. So that's what we've done. So, and I haven't released to anyone. I talked to anybody about you it. Yet. That was the hmm? You hijacked the beacon. Yeah, pretty well, and a few other things, but yeah, they aren't quite as random as they want to be. Bless their cotton socks. Well, they can't be because of all There's the. No there's no fucking such There's thing. No as random. No fucking such we, thing. Come on, people. We Let's thought see. they were going to be a little bit more sophisticated than they were. So okay, that's clear. cool. But I have a seed, and as long as I can reverse the seed, I can reverse the random. Pretty much, yeah. Well, and just look in nature, man. I mean, like, mm -hmm. not a thing. Impossible. Even with your quantum AI ML thing. Oh, speaking of which, did anyone see China's announcement? Fuck China. Ooh, which one? No, not which, the, which one? the one where they openly said our our quantum is stable and we are 
We are taking it to the next level. No, I, have not, I did not that, see that. that. All right, I'm gonna pull I call right bullshit on that one. That's propaganda. Maybe. Uh, no, hey, it is. It, it I hate all. to say it, Evan. They actually figured out quantum comms way before we did. Uh, they both they were bouncing oh, shit off. Chris, come on now. No, 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 no. no. That research. Exactly. China can't, can't, come China, on can't, now. China can't invent their way out of a paper fucking bag that's wet. <laughs> they steal right. everything. That's so their mo. The only the only way they would have invented or innovated anything would have been to correlate what they stole from America, what they stole from the British, what they stole from Israel, and put it all together. And be like, oh hey, look, we found a new thing. Well, hey now, let's be honest. If you steal from Raytheon, you get all that anyways. Yeah, you get all you deserve at that point. <laughs> you get seven years of paperwork and, and six weeks of work. Yeah. Uh, and in those six weeks, four of those weeks are actually justifying the fact you need another half a trillion to justify the next five years worth of work. <laughs> I swear they got their business model from uh, the big four. Oh, uh, fucking undeniably. So it pisses me off, unfortunately. Either that or they got their business model from Microsoft. And let's just be honest. Not, it's not just them. We got Booz Allen. We got Raytheon. We got Lockheed. We got General Motors. We got GM. Yeah, I mean, there's a Oh, General Dynamics lives in our own backyard. When you come yeah. visit, I'm going to take you to a neighborhood that they built on top. Chris, that list of companies you just listed off made me sick to my stomach. You know as well as I do. I mean, that's who it is that they're, I mean, they're doing nothing more than on a four year contract, spending three years, God only knows, doing what, and then spending the last 12 months <clears throat> trying to justify the next four years worth of spend that they have to have to try and show progress. It fucking pisses me off. I'm gonna well, take you and I've started you know, on the state on the state level. I've kind of started planting that seed about it. Yeah, you know, because they're so in bed with every single state, and so I've started this. You know, it started with when I was invited to that uh, whatever the hell they call it on IT. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was first, and then it was. I pointed out. All right, you know, awesome. One of these things is not like the other. Let me ask you a question. What is the current state of security in the state today? You know, and it was just like complete silence. I'm like, how long has fucking been here? And they haven't fucking answered this question for you. It should have been question like number one. So there's been, you know, in bed with every state across the country and never solved a problem, created more, if anything. It's frustrating. I mean, and now that I'm sort of getting more of a, I guess more like of a reputation, I think the more I'll be able to call that out. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, no, um, I'm- And we uh, need to, we need to, we need to. I'm seeing too much dirty stuff. I'm already seeing way too much dirty, dirty. It's dirty. <laughs> right. Now, some of it is um, relationships that previously existed, wink, wink, uh, that are being leveraged publicly because it changes the legal dynamic. So if I got you to say, I agree, and I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we all got new privacy policies. Oh, yeah, totally. You better read that motherfucker because it was very clear about what's going on. It's in writing. They had to put it in front of you. They did. You said, I accept. Thanks for the update. You moved on with your life. But go back and read what you said I accept to. They moved it into the light. And within days, they've already started doing things. CISA. CISA's got carte blanche now. You saw the new directive that came through today, right? You guys got to patch all this stuff and whatever you need to do to do that, you're good. Yeah. If the vendor, if the vendor needs a patch and you can't get them to do it, well, just go ahead and do it. It's it's more of that FBI. I'm just going to log into your shit and fix it. It's going to go in and help you a little bit. Yeah. I might leave 10 extra packages behind on my way out the door. Just to help you. Just just help it. Just keeping an eye on things for you. I want to take us one one left step for a second. So the IRS because, now because we care. monitor. Exactly. It's a sharing, caring world. 
You share one way and we care the other way. If I have more than $600 <laughs> in my account, I know my, all my purchase history fucking is getting fed to Uncle Sam. Ah, uh, that's only if it's that requested. Wasn't already happening, but for that's... God's sakes, there were rules because it was in secret and you needed the FISA order and there was the fucking hush agreement. And the one gag little, one little compromise at a time. Time. Oh my God, dude! It's five at a time. And right now they are like, "We've compromised. You good?" And the American public's going, "Huh? Huh? Sounds, sounds good to me." Let's stimulus check. Can I? Is there more free money? Do I have to go back to work? But I got, I got a voice in my vote. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, hang on. I'm going back. Your your article just hit something I was actually looking for. So oh, the, the, the TechYZ uh, Asia. Yeah, one of the biggest problems that we're still facing on the within the quantum computing is error correction. So there's a whole bunch of algorithms for error correction. It looks like they are still having mistakes and a function in restricted predicted environments for brief periods of time. So that's the quantum error correction. That's where we're still. So yes, it's cool. Yes, they're actually accelerating like nobody's fucking business, but. When you expand from like one to two to five to 10 qubits, once you get past that five to 10, there's a shit ton load of issues where you have to introduce error correction algorithms. And at the moment that takes that viability down considerably from a percentage of usability and scalability standpoint. So you can use a really, really small one really fucking quickly now. The challenge is scaling it up effectively so you get rid of noise, error correction, a bunch of other things. So they're still having the same problems. That is something that hasn't been effectively cracked, and it doesn't look like they've cracked that yet either. When you and you say five to ten qubits, I'm, I still think it's two qubit, even one qubit. I mean, I think it will still struggle with understanding what the hell is happening with the one. It's uh, it's on and off. If you don't know, that's that's the answer. It's it's on at the same time. At the same time. <laughs> yep. Depending upon its mood, time of the day, what it feels like, whether it's had its bit flipped by quantum fucking cosmic rays. One at uh, the same time, right? It's like... It's oh, like yeah, totally. To, yeah, like and to, this is what I love about it. The, the, the it's like trying to figure out the it. mood of your wife. Yeah. <laughs> That's a qubit. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy, son. Once you figure out the mood of your wife or your husband, It'll change. Depending, depending on which side you're on, as soon as you figure that out, you figured out a qubit. Yeah, right. And just like a qubit, it's a Schrodinger, baby. Go ahead. You figured out the mood. And the minute you look at the mood, the minute you're like, yeah, that's the mood, shit changes. Because you looked at it. <laughs> exactly. Schro Schrodinger's quantum wife. Quantum yeah, mechanics. Just, quantum just, mechanics looking at, just looking at it changed the mood. Changes. That's right. I'm telling you. And if you look at it wrong, ooh, it changes the mood in a way you don't want. Well, who knows? Uh, I, I like that article. It's good, but time. that's the thing that just drives me crazy about you know quantum is trying to figure out like what, <laughs> what? So I just look at it and it changes. Well, fuck. Yep. How do but I? We've had that for years. I mean, we've we've right. always had that. I mean, the the. I mean, you got. I mean, I remember in school doing the wave, doing the the light experiment, the slit wave experiments. I mean, that's probably one of the most basic principles of observation changes or observation slash interaction changes when you go from a particle to a wave. Hmm? But we can't, I agree completely with you, you know, I, and I think there's huge value in quantum. I just think we're like 10, 20 years away from being able to use it responsibly. We, we already can't use what we're using responsibly and we're expecting us to go here. No, I'm, I'm, Five. Who, whoever, whoever controls, I mean, fucking controls. Yes. Oh, and that's, and that's where it gets interesting. And back to the Evan. Back to your point. Uh, at the low number of qubits, the ones, fives, and tens, or so, the twenties and above. That's where we have problems. I mean, uh, Google and a few of the others are like, well, we got one hundred and two hundred qubits. I'm like, great, but how bad or how effective is your error correction on those states? Well, shit, right? And what about the other end of this, right? You may understand it, Google. That's awesome. Nobody else fucking does. No. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a question. Devil's Africa for a minute. Do you need to? If it works. Yes. All right. 
but that's you and I thinking, and, and Ryan and probably most of our audience, but the five and a half billion connected people on this planet, do they need to know? Yes. Why? Because they're being taken advantage of. They're oh. tr- putting that's their trust. What they need to know. They're putting their trust into somebody, something, some system that they don't understand. I will never put my trust into something that I don't understand. You do all the time. I know, but as much as I can control, as much as I can live, right? I, I operate in this world that you operate in as well, that I have to give some inherent trust just to function. But as much as I can control, that's one of the reasons why I have a dumb house. I will always have a fucking dumb house. It's not because I don't understand and I, and I fault no, anybody. Well, it's not that I don't understand and I don't fault anybody for having a super smart house. Where I fault you is having a super smart house without understanding and using the smart house responsibly. That's the problem. I choose to use a dumb house, not because I can't use my smart house responsibly. I just don't want to fucking have any more shit to do. I have enough shit to do today. Why the fuck do I want more shit to do? So I choose to have a dumb house. Now you take this to like the quantum. It's like, oh, well, fuck. Good luck. Oh, Good yeah. Luck. I mean, yeah, totally. On that one, there's there's very... I, you know, because even the people who created most of the quantum shit don't understand how it actually works because they push that shit out into you in beta without... I mean, look at the... Oh, fuck me. The, uh, the 10 3, you know, push on, you know, Tesla. I mean, that's binary shit, bro. That's like, <laughs> that's the shit we know. And they can't push that shit without QAing, without the public being the beta. Oh, God. We are so. I mean, that, that was, I didn't see somebody gave me the heads up on, uh, on an Elon quote or conversation with reference. That was me. To- I'm your friend, you. Evan. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And so you look at what he's doing on that, and then you take a look at you know the brain work that he's doing and some other stuff that they, he and Google. I'm like, you're not going to test that shit in 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 beta or beta on 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 humans, and they will. We know they will. And Patch Tuesday will also involve you know plugging your private bits into the fucking sockets to get your updates. Right. I mean, that's what they're doing right right now. Right. Yeah. Well, they they won't test that in production. Well, they are. All right. Exactly on a car that you're driving, you know? I mean, that's the best place to test it. With human life on the line. That's well, run an effective real world test. And, when in that, and in that quote, it was like, well, we can't possibly test this in all possible, you know, configurations and scenarios in QA. And I'm like, well, the fuck you better. I mean, that's why I drive a fucking Ford truck. You're never putting that shit in my Whatever. I live in Minnesota. Self-driving cars don't work here, so thanks. Oh, they do. Not in the winter, they don't. I've seen <laughs> they can't see the road. It's a motherfucker. They can't see the edges of the road. Nope. Yeah. I have see. a... Look, as a driver... That, that's coming in 10.4. Okay, well, as a driver, <laughs> for those of you that don't live in Minnesota, come hang out in this winter. I will show you what it's like to be in the Millennium Falcon. We'll take a drive at night on the freeway when it's snowing with the headlights oh, okay. on. I'm screwed. Right. Well, and so, and so go bringing this back, you know, kind of putting this in the context, right? This is the show. This is the show. You're in the show. Yeah. You know, but we've all got different roles in the show. Some of us, you know, have, and, and I don't want to ever say like one role is better than another role, right? We all have to play a role to play in the show, right? The show doesn't go on if the star isn't there, if the supporting cast isn't there, if the set isn't set up the way it's supposed to be set up and the lights don't shine the way they're supposed to shine, the sound doesn't work the way it's supposed to sound. So we're all in this show, but we don't control the show. You, you, you play it whether you want to or not. And let's say I decide today, like today, I'm done. I've had it. Fuck information security. I'm out of here. I've had enough. I burned out. I'm gone. Am I no longer in the show? No, you're still in the show. Well, I'll go with this because we are at midnight and uh, I promised I would do a better job of taking care of myself. So I'm going to bail out. But in closing, I will say this. The show, aka life, aka the world, is in constant motion. 
question becomes, are you moving forwards or backwards? Because you cannot stand still. If you stand still, the world continues to move. So you're either moving forwards or you're moving backwards. Apply that to your security program. Apply that to your awareness training. Apply that to how you're approaching technology. Are you moving forwards or are you moving backwards? And I've seen a lot of movement in both directions. Uh, businesses, you know, think they're doing the right thing, but the reality is they're moving backwards in their security program when they're putting in that AI, when they're putting in things that they don't have the foundation short up to support. I think they're moving backwards while they think they're moving forwards. So that's my take on that. I'll kick it to Evan and Chris to do their close out. Go for it, Evan. All right, I'll turn the video back on. Um, my take on the show is you're in the show whether you like it or not, right? And so it's up to you on whether you want to, you know, play your role or not. Uh, and, and what I did was I kind of took a segue from, you know, the talk I gave back in wherever the Milwaukee is, wherever the hell I was, that you're in the game regardless, right? You're in the game. You've got technology, right? It's sitting right in front of you. You're watching it right now, right? We're all in technology. So it, it comes down to whether you're going to use that technology responsibly or not. Uh, you don't have an option. Unless you want to, you know, completely like, you know, go to the middle of Africa somewhere where they have no nothing. But even then, you're still in the game because they've got satellites. So they're still watching you. So you can't get out of the game. So, you know, the role you play in this show, uh, learn it. You know, take the time. Don't be ignorant. Stop just going with the flow, you know, because you do have. If let's say, you know, for instance, our population actually woke up, right, and realized, like, what the fuck is going on here? Um, you demand change. And it, it does take us, it takes the community. It's not one person, it's not the three of us. You know, we preach this stuff. It's not us, right? You can look at us, and but it requires action. It requires, you know, yeah, you know, what do I have plugged into my house right now? What am I doing right now? If I work in information security, what's my job right now? You know, am I telling the truth? Am I going to speak up when I see something that ain't right? Uh, and you may think like you, you can't because you'll lose your job. Well, I don't know if you knew this, but according to all the biased studies, we have a shortage in our industry. So you'll find another job, right? You can always reach out to any one of us and we'll help you do whatever we can to try to find another job. What we need is more truth. We need more people to like call this out for what it is. And I'm not, I'm not against quantum. I'm not against smart houses. I'm not against any of that stuff. What I'm against is using any of this irresponsibly, you know, and that's us because there is an end game here and you're not going to like it unless you wake up. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it is uh, you're in the show, learn your role and uh, bust out of it if you have to. I was actually just Googling something to Evan's point, and I, I wanted to see where we were. And it was, I mean, I, I know a little bit about what some of the military and government satellites are doing up there, but I, I don't always know necessarily about what some of the civilian stuff is doing. And uh, Planet is, is one of the ones that's been hanging around for the last several years. Um, they currently watch about one third of the planet every 24 hours. So they're gathering about 50 feet, 53 million or 53 billion square square miles of data on a daily basis. And according to them, they're using it for you know, agriculture, geospatial use for government and commercial mapping. So unfortunately to Evan's point, I really don't think there is anywhere on this planet now, on the surface, let's rephrase, on the surface of this planet now that we can actually escape to which in itself is a little disturbing. You know, I've always had that thing about wanting to go to my little AS400 in the middle of New Zealand or my AS400, you know, somewhere up in Shetland. And even at this point in time, I think that's unfortunately more of a pipe dream than anything else, unless I do go full digital. Um, I, you know, we're in it, whether we like, oh, do we lose Ryan? Yeah, he, he was a good guy, man. I mean, 
whatever. We send our <laughs> condolences. We did. There's an open vacancy now, apparently, at uh, at Security Studio. Yay for everybody. <laughs> Uh, fuck more work for me. Okay. We'll double check. Um, I hope he is okay. I assume he just he was having an unstable. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's fine. Yeah. No, it's um, it's we're in it, and and I think at this point in time we take we have to take a responsible attitude. Oh, internet died. Someone didn't want you talking. Bless. Yeah, it's um. I mean, we're in it whether we like it or not, and we have a we have a responsibility. To, to stand up and be counted, you know, whether you like it or not, whether you take the V for Vendetta approach, whether you take just literally being a good civilized human being and saying, hey, you got to question more, trust less. Uh, and I think that's really the big thing for me, a lot more. Yeah, man, it's been, you know, it's been a pleasure. You know, I, I didn't get to go to uh, Arizona with you. Every time I talk to you, you bring a kind of a sense of calm to my life, man. So I appreciate you. Yeah, that's the same thing I do. You got to Arizona. I think we were talking to Will was on here as well earlier. We should do it again. We definitely, I mean, A, apart from just the Pima thing, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, he's back again. Well, I think we have some follow-up stuff to do. I think, you know, some of the things we're working on in Secure Studio, you know, might apply there. You know, we create a new kind of thing called Teach. Yeah, I think that'd be totally fantastic. We'll see how that applies because we just have to keep educating, man. We have to keep reaching mm -hmm. out to people who don't speak our language natively, who haven't been, you know, we're in a unique position, you know, and I was talking to some people, actually Mexicans down here. Um, you know, we're in a unique position where we remember what it was like to, I needed to use a dime. You know, if I wanted to get in touch with you, I had to use a quarter. I wasn't connected to technology. We move so fucking fast that now I can't escape it. Yeah. Even if I wanted to get away from this, I can't get away from it anymore. I'm in the game. I'm in the show and I can't get away from the show. So even if I quit, you know, let's say I'm a CISO who, you know, I'm just burned out, man. I mean, first of all, we need you in this industry. So, I, you know, if you are one of those people who is at wit's end and want to burn, you know, if you like burning out, reach out to some people that lift you up because we can't afford to lose more soldiers in this fight. You know, right. we need soldiers in this fight and I'll do whatever I can. You know, I've got people who lift me up. You guys lift me up. John Herman, you know, who you saw earlier lifts me up. If I didn't have these people in my life, I would have fucking cashed out 20 years ago. This is bullshit. I'm tired as fuck, but thank God I look at those guys and they, they lift me up, you know? So if you're in that position, you know, and if you if you if you're not if you don't have people like that in your life, find them. They're there. We have to come together as a community and start to fight back on some of these things that we just we're just not ready for it, you know. So I love you guys, and and I and we all do this out of love, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I have no other motive. Unfortunately, the fucking marketers out there have taken this thing and twisted it to their own advantage. I get no advantage out of this. You know, we do this because we, we love each other and, you know, we love our community. And, uh, you know, let's band together. Let's fucking fight this thing and let's kick some ass. Because right now we're getting our asses kicked, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Big time. I'm with you. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for spending you time too. with me. This was the best therapy I needed. So I appreciate you. Well, enjoy the time down there have a fantastic time say hey a little bit of, say hi to the uh, young lady for us and say thank you to her as well i yeah, will do i think she already went to bed so game over for evan yeah if you wake him up right you 40 percent oh, i'll leave you to and now uh, i'm just not that patient i'm not good at that game i just have to wait till tomorrow 40 percent chance i'm just saying be careful all right I love guys you guys. you're awesome i love you both you too guys Take talk to care. you soon